السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان پریویس لیکچر وی اسٹارٹ ایکسرسائز ون پوائنٹ ٹو اینڈ سالو اپ ٹو دی کوشچن نمبر ایٹ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو ایکسرسائز ون پوائنٹ ٹو کوشچن نمبر نائن اوکے کوشچن نمبر نائن از ان ٹرائنگل اے بی سی یو کین سی ہیئر دی ٹرائنگل اے بی سی سیگمنٹ بی ڈی بائی سیکٹ سائڈ Segment BD bisect angle ABC that means BD is the bisector of angle ABC. Here AD value they have given x minus 2. BC value they have given x plus 2. You have to find the value of x. x that means AB. Okay. It's easy. In triangle if the angle bisector is given then you have to directly apply the angle bisector theorem. Okay. So start solution. Solution. In triangle A B C, okay. In triangle A B C, segment B D bisects segment B D bisects angle A B C, okay. So that means B D is a bisector. So we are going to apply angle bisector theorem. So therefore, by angle bisect theorem okay angle bisector theorem is the ratio of the side opposite to the angle okay the ratio of the side opposite to the angle is equal to the ratio of remaining side okay the ratio of side opposite to the angle so this side is opposite to the angle take the ratio so ad upon dc the ratio is ad upon dc okay the ratio of the side opposite to the angle is equal to the ratio of remaining side. So, your remaining side AB and DC. So, therefore, AD upon DC is equal to AB upon DC. This is your angle bisector theorem. Okay, I applied the theorem. Now, next step, substitute the values. The value is AD x minus 2. DC value is x plus 2. AB value they have given x bc value is x plus 5 okay now the next step is cross multiply okay now cross multiply x minus 2 x plus 5 equal to x multiply by x plus 2 okay now we have two bracket multiply first number of the first bracket multiply by second bracket then next second number of the first bracket multiply by second bracket. This is the method to multiply the two brackets. Okay. Now we are multiplying here x x are x square plus 2x. Okay. Now open the bracket by multiplying x x are x square plus 5x minus 2x. 2x minus plus minus 2 5 are 10. Okay. x square plus 2x. Okay x square x square both the side get cancelled yes now 5x minus 2x is 3x minus 10 is equal to 2x okay to find the value of x shift x value here and the minus 10 shifted that side so 3x plus 2x now here minus 2x minus 10 that side plus 10 okay 3x minus 2x is x is equal to 10. So that means your x value is 10 that you have to find. You have to find the value of x. You get the value of x is 10. It's easy. Very easy question here is also. Here you just apply the angle bisector theorem. By angle bisector theorem you find the value of x. Okay. It's easy. Now move to the next question. Next question number 10 is activity type question. Uh, open your textbook. You can see this activity is given to you in your textbook and you have to just fill the boxes given to you. Okay. Number 10 is segment PQ parallel to DE. That means these two lines are parallel. And segment QR is parallel to EF. These two lines are parallel. Then fill in the blank to prove that you have to do segment PR. That means this segment is parallel to this. Already activity is given to you, have to just fill the boxes. First proof in triangle XDE. That means this triangle. XDE. Okay. 
In this triangle, they say PQ is parallel to DE. In a triangle, if a line is parallel to any one side of a triangle, then divide other two sides into equal ratios. That means BPT theorem. They have given up. So apply the BPT theorem. Now PQ is parallel to DE. This part is given to you. Right here given. Okay. Now apply the BPT theorem. If a line parallel to any one side of a triangle, divide two sides into equal ratio. That means XP upon PD. That side ratio from here XQ upon QE. That is BPD theorem. Now similarly, next is angle XEF. XEF. In this triangle, QR is parallel to EF. Again, we can apply the BPD theorem. So this line is parallel to this side. That means divide this two sides side in equal ratio. BPD theorem. So apply BPD theorem XQ upon QE. XQ upon QE. Is equal to XR upon RF. XR upon RF. Okay. Right here we have apply here BPD. And this parallel line is given to you. Right given. Okay. Now observe 1 and 2. Observe here. XQ upon QE ratio is. Uh, XQ upon QE ratio is same. Okay. Observe 1 and 2. XQ upon QE ratio is same. That means cancel. So therefore from 1, 1 and 2 you can write. XP upon PD. That means this ratio is equal to XR upon RF. Okay. From 1 and 2. Now observe here is if XP upon PD is equal to XR upon RF. That means do, if, two, if a line divide two sides in equal ratio then means that line is parallel to third side. That is your converse of BPD theorem. So by converse of BPD theorem PR is parallel to PD. Got it? It's very easy activity. Last question of this exercise that is question number 11. Question number 11 is in triangle ABC, ray BD bisects angle ABC and ray CE bisects angle ACB. If segment AB congruent to segment AC, then prove that ED is parallel to BC. Okay. Diagram is not given here. So, first of all, try to draw the figure, ask you the question. Read the question carefully and draw the figure. First of all, in triangle ABC, that means you have to draw one triangle ABC. So, I draw here triangle ABC. Okay. Triangle ABC. Next, ray BD bisects angle ABC. Okay. That means BD is the bisector of angle B. So, I draw here BD. This BD is the bisector of angle B. Okay. Now, the next. Ray CE. Ray CE bisects angle ACB. That means CE is the bisector of angle C. Draw CE. CE is the bisector of angle ACB. Okay. I draw the figure. Now, you have to prove that ED is parallel to BC. Now, join ED. And you have to prove this ED is parallel to BC. Okay. Got it? Now write the given part. Given. Given is in triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, ray BD is a bisector of angle ABC. Ray BD bisects angle a, B, C. Okay. Ray, B, D bisects angle A, B, C. Okay. Next, Ray, C, E also. Uh, Ray, C, E bisects angle A, C, B. And Ray, C, E bisects angle A, C, B. Okay. This part is given. Now to prove. You have to prove. ED is parallel to BC. Okay. Now start proof. Now to prove I have. Uh, I join ED to writing construction. So construction is join ED. Okay. Now start your proof. Okay. First. BD is a bisector of angle. BD is a bisector of angle ABC. Then you, you can apply the angle bisector theorem. So apply. So BD 
is the bisector of angle ABC. So therefore, by angle bisector theorem. Okay, apply angle bisector theorem for BD. Angle bisector theorem is the ratio of the side opposite to the angle is equal to the ratio of remaining side. So this side is opposite to the angle B. So the ratio is AD upon DC is equal to ratio of remaining side. So remaining sides of triangle AB are BC. AB upon BC. This is your number one. Give it number one. Okay. Now the next part they have given ray CE bisects ACB. So similarly here we, all, and here we also apply the angle bisector theorem. Ray CE bisects angle ACB. So therefore by angle bisector theorem. Here also apply angle bisector theorem. Apply. CE is the bisector then the ratio of the side opposite to the angle is equal to the ratio of remaining side. For C the opposite side is this. So ratio is AE upon EB is equal to the ratio of remaining sides. So remaining sides of triangle AC and BC. AC upon BC give it number 2. Okay. Now observe 1 and 2. Observe. AE upon AB, AC upon and one more thing they have given us. AB is congruent to AC. Right in given part also they have given you segment AB is congruent to segment AC. Okay. So segment AB is congruent to segment AC. This part is given and number third it's given to you. Okay. <laughs> that means AB and AC they have given equal. That is a congruent. Now observe 1, 2, 3. If you observe 1, 2, 3, AB and AC are congruent. That means AB and AC are same. Congruent. BC, BC almost same. That means these two ratios are equal. If these two ratios are equal, then automatically these two ratios are equal. That means if left hand side part is equal then automatically your right hand side part equal if your right hand side part equal then automatically your right left hand side part equal here we observe ab is congruent to ac and bc bc same that means these two ratios are same if these two ratios are equal then automatically these two ratios are equal so therefore from 1 2 and 3 from 1 to 3 ad upon dc is equal to ae upon EB. Okay. Now observe if AD upon DC is equal to AE upon EB. So this is here. If the ratio of two sides are equal, then the line which divide these two sides, this line is parallel to third side. That is your converse of BPD theorem. Again, I am repeating converse of BPD theorem said that if, if a line divide two sides into equal ratio, so due to this ED, these two ratios are equal. Then the line is parallel to the third side of a triangle. So therefore, by converse of BPT, so by converse of BPT, uh, your ED is parallel to side BC. Okay. Here we have uh, here we have completed exercise 1.2. Try to solve this exercise.